Welcome back guys, uh, Yobot here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys today a uh, very li commonly used trick, uh, which is uh, a kick in the end of um, basically uh, just some loops and someone is annoying me on Facebook. Um, basically you just take your regular kick and then you wanna have a break here and then you're just gonna go like, uh, for example, the lead is playing here, so just quickly do that now this lead is gonna play here and then you basically want to have a cooldown so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the mixer uh, let me grab the mixer there we go and then basically go to the kick channel and then add a reverb uh, you can use any uh, re reverb uh, that you want I'm gonna take this one because I usually use it and then uh, basically um, gonna put some fairly standard things we now want to have a little bit of bottom but not too much I'm gonna put it in another color which means that it's has a bit more high frequencies this one I'm gonna have a quite a long tail the pre-delay um, quite quick so that it starts working uh, immediately you know as soon as the uh, kick basically triggers um, later I'm just gonna fiddle around with this one and see how it works high shelf it's gonna be all the way up bass multi we're gonna not turn it all the way down we'll just see how this is gonna sound and basically <coughs> let me first turn this off there you have it already that echoes out nicely the pre-delay is kind of important because uh, if you don't really have a pre-delay to it uh, the uh, kick will be all basically uh, uh, you know reverbed uh, from the start and it will just lose its power like uh, it kind of still is there so it doesn't really matter but I'm still gonna put some a uh, little bit of uh, pre-delay on there and then we want to basically automate this part you don't want it to play the whole time because then uh, obviously you're gonna have this really reverby kick which you definitely don't want and then we're just gonna smoothly let it fade out and towards the end that's all and then we'll have um, the lead playing and then if you want to have a you know basically a break uh, calm down or whatever you want to call it it just <laughs> did something wrong it was playing the whole time so we're gonna drag it down left click and then we're gonna initialize the song with this position so it's gonna start like all the way down as you can see also a very handy trick and there you have it um, usually what is very common is that you put a uh, crash on top of that so I'm gonna go to oh I don't want to have my percussion and effect in favorites and I'm gonna go to uh, Thomas Penton very good for percussion things um, let me see where he hides his hi-hats no oh, crashes here <coughs> that mom might work it's gonna be probably a bit too loud I'm gonna send this to a channel I already have a special channel for the crash um, again I'm gonna put an EQ on it just to make sure by the way it's not really necessary but I just want to be sure there's nothing in the bottom and then uh, we're gonna put uh, also a reverb on that one um, kind of you know like I use the same reverb same delay throughout the whole thing and I do this uh, on purpose because then it all sounds the same sometimes I just choose another uh, reverb if I want to have a bit of a different sound but uh, yeah you can really just like you know try things out and it gives your song a bit of a different 
feeling to it you know if you use different uh, basically different uh, reverbs and different delays and stuff <laughs> There you have it already. And you can make it even fatter. Uh, I have the splice sounds of KSHMR. And I think it's some big room artist, but don't really listen to them. But they have some really nice uh, sample pack. So that's I'm very happy about that. And then uh, I think they have some really cool uh, orchestra drums. That's it. just perfect to create this really epic feeling uh, you know at the end of it so when it hits it's just a really full sound which is a bit too loud also not enough uh, reverb on it I think and also I don't really like the sound of it but yeah just the, the high tones there we have it. Even more, you know, snare to get some mid frequencies in there. Uh, that's the right one. And that's a uh, very cinematic, or, you know, orchestral, whatever you want to call it. See how it sounds. And there you have it. You know, you can just layer them and basically uh, later EQ them just to make sure that uh, they all sit nicely together. And that's a really good, uh, you know, break basically. Just like, bam, this is the end uh, of everything. And then the reason why you do it like this is because the kick will provide the bottom, so the lower frequencies, uh, and then crash will provide the higher frequencies. These will have, you know, this one is quite low. This is a bit more mid. This is, you know, high mid to high. And then you can have, like, chimes or whatever you want on top of it. Sweeps. You name it. Um, you can also use white noise. Uh, basically have it. So it basically comes up, you know, like it's this sound. And then when it hits, you basically have it fade out again. Uh, and then this one as well. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, it sounds about a red, but not really. You need you need to kind of you know like take your time for this and make sure that it sits all right. Something like that. Just trying it out real quick. You can definitely do that better. But I only have 10 minutes per video, so... Here. Now with the... You know, and then slowly the... Yeah. The lead will come back in, so... Boom. Still has a really ridiculous uh, amount of uh, phaser and stuff on it. Kind of did that as an example, but uh, that's a bit of an extreme setting. But you know, a little bit is nice, gives a little bit of movement, and then just like. <laughs> That's it. 
I'm running out of time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.